Steve Bowers welcoming you to Dialogue here at E Plus TV 6 and a special opportunity to visit with Tipa Snow. She's on the internet. Anytime you have an opportunity to find her on YouTube or whatever, do so. It's T E E P A S N O W. And uh, there's a lot of material out there uh, from her. She's quite an articulate speaker. She's informative. She's entertaining. She's poignant. She is sometimes sad. She is profane because sometimes there's not anything to quite replace a swear word. To describe what happens to us, even though my mother didn't approve, I found myself evolving or devolving to the same situation in my life. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having it's, me it's, here. It's, it's good to visit you. Alzheimer's for a moment, and before we get into to other things, has it always been there? We're just living long enough to, to detect it now, or is, are things environmentally different for us? Both. Okay. Interestingly enough, um, we used to die before most of us would get to that place. But we also know we're doing things that aren't good for our brain. And dementia is the big category, but Alzheimer's is a big player in okay. there for sure. Do you deal with both in your, your work? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the great big umbrella term is dementia. Right. And there's about, now we think about 110 different kinds of things you can have. Whoa. And one big box under there is Alzheimer's. Okay. Uh, but we got vascular dementia. We have Lewy body dementia, frontal temporal dementia. Some of the football players um, okay. where okay. they talk about having head injuries. Right. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy. In other words, you hit your head several times. And okay. Yeah, it's not good for your brain. Okay. So for boxers, MMA, boxers, contact sports, big deal. Is, soccer, okay. even professional so, okay. soccer. Uh, we even have started to notice cheerleaders who do high performance, high pyramids when they fall. Okay. Um, they bang their heads pretty good. Okay. And so motor vehicle accidents. We know that people who have head injuries increase the risk by about 50 percent for later in their life developing okay. a dementia. So, under that broad umbrella, it could be many of us, could. not just those with, with degenerative disease. It will disease. be quite a few of us. Okay, as yeah. we live longer. As we live longer. Okay, then in your work, you cover the big umbrella yeah. or focus primarily? I do the big umbrella, big umbrella. because okay. what we're talking about is brain change that progresses, okay. that we don't have a cure for, and that eventually will kill you. Okay, whoa. Then the more we find out. But if you think you're getting out of life alive, just let me know how you're going to do that because <laughs> okay. I got people who want to know. I think we're all going to die, but this one is okay. sort of defined. I mean, it, is, it, it changes things so that your brain yeah. can't run your body. Good book gave us a couple of exemptions, but I'm not expecting <laughs> one of those, right? I'm not expecting yeah, yeah, one of those. Yeah, I think you have to go through the process. I, <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we have to sort of give this one up to move on. To move on to yeah. the, to the, to the That's uh, what I heard. <laughs> to, to, to the next one, okay. How did you get into this work? I got in first when my grandfather moved in and I was eight, and my mom was not a good caregiver. She was a phys ed teacher, um, but she and my grandpap would go like this, because okay. she'd say, Daddy, you can't go back. Mom's dead. Don't you remember? He'd go, oh, that's ridiculous. I can go home if I want to. Okay. And I would say instead, Grandpap, if you go, I'll be here all alone when Mom's at work, and I don't like that. Okay. And he'd say, well, I can stay a day. Okay. And I learned early on so how to negotiate. Yeah. Okay, so you instinctively. Yeah. Looking at that now with your work, why was it instinctive for you and not your mom? My mom, I think, was number one too close to her dad. Sometimes that generational jump helps because she knew her dad as a man who should know. Okay. And I knew Grandpa as, he was this tough character, but I also recognized he was changing. And okay. if he couldn't hang on to Grandma being dead, me reminding him wasn't going to really help for some reason. Okay. I got that. All and right. my mom wanted him to get it, so he quit asking to go home. And she couldn't let go of that. And I could. I think some people are meant to do this and some aren't. Wow. And there's not anything wrong with saying, I'm not good at this, as long as you find somebody who is. Um, it's actually okay. a lot more dangerous to keep trying to do what you're not good at. Okay. So someone in my family for which I've, to whom I feel responsibility, for whom I feel responsibility, yeah. then it's like, well, I've got to, I've got to do this. No, you and your thing is? Time out. You time need out. to find somebody to help you do that. Okay. Nobody should be a lone ranger to start with. And number two, I will tell you, a number of people, because they care so much, they can't care. They need to be the person that the person wants them to be and needs them to be. And we need somebody else to be the care person. Okay. Because um, sometimes things get hard. All right. What have you seen then in dealing with people that are professional at this, that this is what they do, but then I would think sometimes, <laughs> you know, they may They're not, not know. They're not good at it either. Yeah. Okay. I mean, one of our big challenges right now, uh, out of 10 people who get the disease, only two of them are diagnosed in the earliest stages when we could be the most active at saying, whoa, something's going on here. We okay. better check it out. Is it the umbrella thing or is it something else? Okay. Um, and what we don't do is get curious. We're so scared. It's like, oh, I hope not. I don't think so. Is it? Really? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. She's just having a bad day. Okay. Instead of going, 
well, let's talk about this. Okay. So tell me what you noticed. Okay. And people aren't interested in doing that because they're too scared. They're scared. And they think, okay. well, if I don't say something, well, it's still going to be there if it is. And what if it isn't and it should be treated? All right, if I, if I see something, detect something, to whom do I go? Well, now that's a really good question. Typically, you'd go to your doctor, right? Right. Well, the problem we have is that dementia is not a medical condition as much as it is a life condition. And you're going to need more than a oh, physician. What does that mean? Well, what it means is it changes social network. It changes what you do every day and how okay. you do it. Financial management. Uh, it certainly changes how medical support is given. Okay. But it's more than that. I mean, it changes how you're going to fill your day up, what you're safe to do, what you're not safe to do, where you can live, what kind of help you're going to need. And we go to the physician thinking, okay, he'll have the answer, she'll have the answers. And what they can do is identify what we think is going on. Aye. Right. But then how are we going to live after that? Because we're talking on average 8 to 12 years of life. Okay. What are some early signs then? Um, that you're changing. And that's the best thing I can tell you. You're hmm. noticing a significant change. Change in Like your ability to find words okay. and to use them. Your ability to recall recent information accurately. Um, your ability to find your way from this place to an unfamiliar location, then turn around and come back without error. Okay. Now, you have to know what your baseline was. Okay. Your ability to use a new tool, device, or operate a new motor vehicle. You get a new one. You've always enjoyed new cars. Right, right. But now when you get it, you're going, I take it back. This is ridiculous. Oh, okay. I want my other car back. Okay. And that's not you. Okay. Um, I'm having a change in emotions. Like I'm like a hair trigger, and I've not been before, or I'm flat. And people think depression, but it might not be. It might be my brain trying to deal with what's going on here. Okay. Um, Do people notice it themselves, or is it up to other people to 50, notice? 50 50. Okay. 50% of us, we're the first people who notice. notice. And typically, what we see is an increase in anxiety. Um, I just can't hold on to things. Why am I having so much trouble? Do you think there's something going on? And of course, I ask my, my daughter, and she goes, Mom, you're distressed. Or I even say to the doctor, you're, you're distressed. Something's wrong. And what I would say is, too often what we hear is, well, you know, you need to get your stress under control. Let's, let's, and nobody goes, time out. Let's do a quick check and see if it is. All right. Well, I want to follow what that quick check means. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tipa Snow is with us. And we're going to talk, well, we're talking about Alzheimer's and, well, that whole area of dementia, which is a broad thing, and then brain trauma, about which we're finding out more and more and more. And we are. It's great to have this opportunity to visit with her. If you can find her, well, you can find her on the Internet. It's easy, and YouTube and everything else. Check it out. It's T-E-E-P-A-S-N-O-W. Tipa Snow is with us. We'll continue this dialogue in just a moment here at E-Plus TV 6. Welcome back to Dialogue at E-Plus TV 6, visit with Tipa Snow. If you're just joining us, be sure to catch this on replay. We've covered a lot of ground already, and there, there's more to go. All right, so this analysis, quick analysis that I yeah. do, what is that? All right. Well, what we're talking about is I want to check out different parts of your brain. And particularly, I'm really interested in this part, which is the last part to develop, which is called your prefrontal. It's where you think about things. So I could ask you, tell me as many animals as you can think of in a minute. Okay. And I keep track of that. Now, if in six months I come back and do it again, our vocabulary shouldn't drop. You shouldn't have trouble thinking through that. You should still be able to do it and do it well. Okay. So if I keep track of that over time and I start to see a shift, I want to go, whoa, what's going on here? Okay. Because that comes from here, but it has to be integrated up front. Okay. I could also say, okay, so let's, let's take a trip. Tell me how you'd get to All right. and how'd you get back. So show me how you use this remote to mess with the TV. I want to do some practical things. Let's take a look at all your medicines. Tell me what they're all for, how many you take. Because if what you say is not supported by the evidence, like I look at the pill mm -hmm. bottle and they're all still in there, or they're all missing and you should only have used half, whoa, what's okay. going on here? Okay. So it's easiest if it's somebody who knows you fairly well, oh, well and okay. checks in episodically. Uh, okay, so, so that's, that's part of it. In the, but, yeah. but in half the cases, people detect it themselves. Yeah. Again, when you go back, our instinct is to go to our doctor, yeah. but then that may not be... Well, you can do it. The challenge we have is many physicians are not keeping up with what we'd like them to keep up with okay. as far as this thing, dementia, delirium, depression, what's going on here, anxiety. Okay. Um, we get into this age bracket, 
above 65, 75. Okay. And I say, I'm having some trouble with my memory. And the most common comment made in physicians' office, and there's okay. research on this, is, well, you know, you're 78. What right. are you expecting? And it's like, yeah. well, I expect my brain to work. Okay. That's not an unreasonable expectation. No. Then. No, okay. what we should because see is a little it, it, slowing, but not a change. Well, I'm already, I'm, I'm 66, and I'm already hearing, well, Mr. Bowers, for a person your age. Uh uh. No, okay. no, no, no. Then no. I, I'm yeah. going, well, I don't know when that happened. Yeah, <laughs> but, I know. It's but, like but, somewhere but, around tw after 25, it was downhill <laughs> yeah, ever since. You, just, you yeah. noticed it around 40. So, so, the, so, so it becomes kind of an expectation. It's like, well, yeah. hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's okay. like, so are so, you. So the brain should work. Yeah, yeah it should. Forever. Yeah, it should until it stops working. And what we should see is a little decline in speed and speed, mostly. Okay. What we'll see is a change in speed. Okay. And yeah, you have to think a little harder. It's harder for neurons to make new connections. So learning new things takes longer, okay. but you still should be able to do it. You can teach an old dog new tricks. Are we causing this or are we just victims uh, of this? We've got to be curious about it. We get into habits. And what we don't notice is how much we're sliding down a hill until we try to change a habit. And then suddenly things that we've done easily when we have to do unusual things, that's when we notice, wow, I'm having so much trouble. We let ourselves gradually decline without noticing. And so what we're finding is if you want to reduce your risk, if you want to keep your brain as healthy as possible, do curious and creative things. Take a music class, sing in a choir, learn to do something you haven't always done. If you're just doing the same old crossword puzzle, you are not protecting your brain very much. Okay. It's the same old, same old. Okay. Yeah. So, new things. New things, different things, social things, fun okay. things. Fun, force yourself out. Well, yeah. get yourself to do something you know you sort of like, but you're a little, little, find somebody to do it with you if you want a partner. Okay. If you're solo, get yourself used to having others around you a little bit. Okay. Because social engagement uses more of your brain than any solo activity. As a family yeah. member, if I detect growing isolation or whatever, should yeah. I step in? Should I? You want to be careful. One of the first things I want to do, because it's a 50-50 mix, is I say, well, tell me a little bit about how you're noticing. Are you feel like you're still doing everything you used to at the same level or anything? Anything changing at all, Mom, Dad? Okay. Yeah. So tell me the last time you actually went and did that stuff that you're talking about. Huh. So not for a couple, like six months? Okay. Now, that was that since Grandma passed okay. and you sort of, so picking things back up, starting back up, getting going again after taking care of her for a while. Okay. okay. Oh. I want to look for hope here. Am yeah. I naive to think that I can actually actively deter this? That I what can... we know is we can buy ourselves time. Okay. Uh, what we choose to do, what we choose to eat, how we choose to live, taking care of our sleep patterns. Sleep is important. We heal, we recover, we, uh -huh. we get back online and managing our stress level by figuring out what helps us and not use negative coping strategies. Which would be? Uh, smoking more, drinking more, okay. um, sitting around watching a TV set all the time, time. Okay. Um, not doing things, eating a bunch. Um, people eat gambling, um, okay. doing things that we're just getting through. We aren't using much. That really matters. Okay. Yeah. So I can get into, so, I mean, I have read that you shouldn't drive home the same way every day. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. I mean, okay. the more, if you're not stressed out by it. Now, yeah. if, if that stresses you yeah. out, then try something different. Okay. But being actively engaged and making your, your brain root and reroute and use all those parts and pieces, really important. So driving with a friend, going okay. somewhere, talking, engaging, listening to music that's a little different. And then learning the words and then singing together in harmony. Okay. Oh, wow. That's okay. just great for your brain. Dancing has been demonstrated to be one of the most powerful tools to, to buy yourself time. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So you encourage this? Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. expectation of, because I said, I already sense it at my age that you, you can't have that opposite expectation. Yeah. Right? That it's yeah. like, well, hey, Well, this is just how it goes. It, you know, yeah. you just get like that. Yeah. So we used to do a lot of square dancing. We used to have a lot of community things. So when you say, are things changing? I would say, absolutely. Okay. We're so, spending way too much time looking at something and okay. doing this. So the isolation is real. It's real. More now, of us. Okay. Better to Zoom or Skype with somebody on the internet than just type messages, perhaps. Okay. Wow. Because there, there was social interaction, our community, or, yeah. you know. Well, you know, you're from the south. Barn you know. raisings yeah, and, right. and, and socials. I mean, we didn't just go to church mm -hmm. and go back home and watch right. the football game or right. go out and right. eat with okay. family. We would actually engage, engage with one with, another. With, with people. 
Um, well, you know the air conditioning, the store, you know the air conditioning of the yeah. south. That we got us all, all off the front porch. But when I listen to my grandparents, great grandparents talk, they did set out every day, they and did. you did engage neighbors, and people would go by. Yeah. And you'd, so I thought, yeah. And they used to play bridge every Thursday. I mean, okay, those okay. there were things that people did. You know, okay. the bingo game legalized gambling. So I have to, yeah. I have to be aware then that uh, there there may be an, if society. Well, they're just getting old. Okay, and yeah. and and then that that in this thing that we're more isolated maybe than we would realize. Yeah, fifty percent of us will never get the disease. Just so we're clear, okay. we can be ninety years old, a hundred years old, and we still won't have dementia. Okay, dementia is always a disease process. It's a disease process. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I had a great uncle that died ninety six a few years ago. He yeah. was still taking. He was a woodworker. He was still taking yeah. furniture orders two weeks before he died. And he and died was, exactly um, how he meant to. Yes, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I think about that. I mean, he had frailty Making of age, difference. but he was woodworking every yeah. day. And, and he was challenged by the wood. I guess, the wood yes, I mean, was that different thing for him. Every you know, time he saw a piece of wood, he had to figure it out. I, yes. I would go into his shop and he could identify that we cured this back yeah. in 1933, Steve. Wow. <laughs> it would be yeah. like, okay. And you go, wow. So, and I've saved this. There'll be a project that'll come along. Be and I thought, wow, okay, so that's important. Yeah. Okay. And to have somebody to share it with. Okay. You. Okay. I mean, that intergenerational connection is okay. huge. Okay. Helping us, we're losing that. We are really losing that. Okay. All right. Tiba Snow is with us. Dementia is such a broad-based topic. She is phenomenal at what she does. We're appreciative of this opportunity. We'll be right back as we continue this dialogue at E Plus TV 6. Welcome back to Dialogue at E Plus TV 6. Alzheimer's, dementia, the topic, Tipa Snow, the guest. She is phenomenal at this uh, work that she does. If you're just joining us, you catch us on replay. It's been an important discussion, and we're appreciative of this opportunity. 50% of us will not ever get this. Correct. Okay, so live with expectation, hope. Yep. Yeah, stay positive, stay involved, do things. Yeah. And so the brain should work. It should. Okay. You should expect of us, it to work. All right, 50% of us will. Yes. Okay. So then what happens? So then what do we do? And what we've been doing is isolating and not accepting and wanting people to be who they used to be. And I am who I was, but now I'm different. And so as a community, how okay. we build support okay. for the person who's trying to help the person, for the person themselves who's living with dementia. And that's the new phrase. Um, okay. They actually asked people who were living with dementia in the early stages, what do you want us to say about you? And they said, call me a person living with dementia, not a demented person. Okay. All right. Okay. So, community as a whole then, because my thing, then I don't want to carry mom or dad out anymore, right? Because it's embarrassing. Yeah. Um, Why? Uh, okay. Why? Do you, are you embarrassed by your children? <laughs> well, sometimes. sometimes. Animals yeah. and pets and children, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah but do you take your kids out anyway? Yeah. Why? Okay, because they're mine. And? I love them. And, and what I else? want them to be out. And we engaged. want them to be among others. Uh, others, right. And we, we figure out where are places that are okay and where are places that are not. And people that have children have special yeah. challenges. They, they face that all their life, right? But then sure. the ones I know, my child has autism, but he is mine, and he's here to be in the yeah. scouts. That's right. right. Okay. And so right. we need to build an, uh, an attitude of acceptance. Okay. And much as we have done with developmental disabilities, intellectual disabilities, children who are different, okay. um, but when it comes to older adults, and even people my age and your age who might mm. be getting dementia, because mm. it can happen young. Mm. It doesn't yeah. always just happen to older adults. Right, yeah. So, um, how do we get to a level of acceptance and what we should do and how we should handle it? Okay. Um, so if you say so something that you shouldn't say, you, you want to sleep with me? You, if you okay. just say that oh, okay. and it was like, whoa. Yeah. You're wanting to know if I'd like to sleep with you? Nah, not really, but you want to have some coffee? Okay. I mean, that would be an acceptable answer. And what it means is, I knew you from before. You would never have said, said that. Said that, right. You're saying it now not because you choose, yeah. but because the dementia chooses. You like spending time with me. Your brain doesn't know the right words to say. You mm -hmm. like being with me. Okay. And you make some inappropriate comment. I choose to just repeat what you okay. said so you know I heard, heard you. Heard you, okay. And then I give you another option. Okay. 
You make it sound pretty simple, but our react it has to be a learned reaction. It's a response, not a reaction. Oh, okay. Because See, that's the trick. Just, okay. I have to get my because brain it, to do a different thing. If you say, you want to sleep with me, it's like, well, Tiva, I'm married. And whatever. I know, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, my, my instinct yeah, exactly. just immediately go, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, man, what, you, whoa, whoa, what's, what are what's you what's doing? Yeah, like okay. when I, we're, uh, we're in yeah. a restaurant okay. and I'm walking to my table and I stop by and pick up a French fry off of yours. It's like, whoa, where'd that come from? Okay. But you could just say, what do you think? Is it good? Yeah, I ordered those. You know, that would involve a total community shift. Oh, right? yeah. Which we've done. Yeah. And what I'm going to tell you is with the numbers, we better figure out how to do it. Because what we're doing is destroying the fabric of our neighborhoods by isolating ourselves and those we care for. I can't go out. When you get dementia, if you were to get dementia and I was your care provider, what does that mean? I don't get to go out anymore. Or if I do, I leave you alone. Well, what if I'll you decide? I'll find somebody to stay with me then. Yeah, well, right. yeah, and okay. I pay for somebody. Ooh, that gets okay. expensive very quickly. Okay. Very quickly. Whoa. Okay. Let alone finding the right person you'll stay with. We've made tremendous social adjustments, uh, roles of women, race, yeah. other things, but yeah. we're doing things that we would, 50 years ago, would say would never happen, right? It's the civ it, for me, uh, it's, it's basically, it's the civil rights civil issue, issue of okay. the 21st century. century. Okay, because 50% of us will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we need legal systems that are better tuned in. Now it's either you're competent or you're not. Okay. Not well, you're competent to make choices about clothing, but not about money. Maybe you're competent to still select who is with you, or maybe you're making mistakes and allowing people who are predators into your life because they're nice. Okay. All right. A lot. A lot. Go back to my reaction a moment ago. Yeah. Not a response, but a reaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. My feeling would be that that's where most of us get trapped. Mm -hmm. Right. We start reacting. Automatic brain activity. Okay. But I said, look, we can all still learn. Okay. But, it being, but all of us have to learn. Yeah. All of us have to learn. We have to become aware. We have to become knowledgeable. And then we want to be, get skilled. I mean, it's becoming skilled at this brain change thing. Okay. Mine has to change because yours is changing. So if I have capacity, do I not owe my fellow man? Okay. Oh. I thought we, I did. Whew. Servant industry. Yeah, see, but you're, about to sh you're shifting this to me. I am. Okay. I'm saying it's about us. Yeah. And what we choose as a community to do to, to do. support people who are going to die eventually from this condition that robs them of themselves. I can't make you be how you used to be. Right. I have to accept as you are, and I have to change to match so we can be together. When you talk to people that are entering this, fundamentally, what are the first things? And I have to respond, not react. Yes. Right. I mean, or yeah. what are the things? Substitution, not subtraction. So I want you to substitute. So instead of going to a fine restaurant, maybe go to a place that allows for more flexibility. Okay. Maybe instead of getting a four-course meal, we go get ice cream. Okay. I substitute. I don't subtract. Okay. I change to match. Okay. All right. So less complicated situation, situation in which I can still be engaged. All right. Simplify. Don't babyfy. Okay. So I say, oh, Steve, come on. Not Steve. Honey, you want to come with me? Okay. It's demeaning. And if you were smart enough, you would say no. Okay. The, but because I assume then that the person that is changing doesn't, doesn't realize that that's what's happening or that I feel that that's, I have to baby them. Right? You noticed, didn't you? But you no. do, yeah. The, okay. the tone of voice, the look in my face. All I'm right. treating you like a... And so then, then, I, will, and like then I will then react to that, child. right? Yeah. I'm not a child. child. Why yeah. are what's, you doing what this? What are you doing to me? Yeah. Okay, why are you doing this? Okay. Exactly. You're wow. wanting to know why I did it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Steve, I'm so sorry. Well, this is learning like learning how to dance. It is. Right? Yeah. I have, I've got a new partner. Yeah, you got a new partner. Okay. This is a dance. This is not going to be easy. No. Not for any of us. But would we be better off if we were in school together versus I'm trying to dance all by myself? Okay. All right. How quickly can I adapt to this? Depends on you and how open you are and how stressed out you are. If we start early and we start when they're just little changes and you can learn as you go, it's sort of like starting in kindergarten and going through high school as opposed yeah. to coming in in middle school and going, I don't like any of this because it's all about emotion, it's all about control, okay. and it's all about I'm almost old yeah. enough, I'm not quite. Okay. And that's unfortunately where we are right now with dementia. Okay. We wait way too long to start to try to help, help. in a way that they don't find acceptable. Okay. And it may not be that I'm the best at this. May I not. may have to have help. Yeah. Not all of us yeah. are suited it's for this. It's not about love. It's about skill. skill. You can love somebody and not be very skilled. 
Okay. Um, so you need to find somebody who is skilled because you can offer your love. Okay. And I have a phrase. When the disease gets this big, spend this much time with me so you okay. can like me this much. It's good to visit with you. My pleasure. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Oh, yeah. There's, you say well, our ability to curse will be one of the last things that will go away, right? It's absolutely. You know, it's in, so is it's music. In, in, okay. It's, we've got the ability to pray, to sing, to love poetry, okay. to dance, okay. and to swear. <laughs> and those will stay with us. Those stay with us. Okay. Just yeah. understand. It's a okay. gift. <laughs> it's a gift. It's a pleasure visiting you. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Yeah, absolutely. Tipa Snow. T-E-E-P-A-S-N-O-W. Google her. There's information there. Anytime an opportunity to visit with her, take it. It's a real pleasure. Thank Thanks to you for being with us. And stay with us here at E Plus TV 6. This is the place where the dialogue continues.